Uh, today I'm going to go through a quick run through kind of the market, my team, and it's also Thursday. So you know what that means? That means it's the Vision Rivals Rewards Day. Let's get it right quick. So kind of the first thing that I wanted to discuss with you guys today. Well, first of all, they brought back the 88 here. I'll pray. Well, this time it's 88. And originally it was 87. And this time it requires an 84. Requires an 85 for the team of the week and an 86 from an 87 or higher. It's not terrible. It's not the worst. It's better than the icon upgrade in my opinion because there's a lot more usable heroes that are lower rated, right? So anyway, we'll come back to that because we might complete it. So we're going to run through my team right now real quick. I've only hit Division 6 because I only just started playing Rivals this week. I'm still on the two game win streak. So this is what I got for now. I actually packed Sun. So I got a little team like this. I got Nico, Griezmann, Arejo, Mendy, Untradeable. Scott and Tradewell from the old hair upgrade, which I did, and she's pretty solid, by the way. This is a good pickup. But the first thing I want to discuss is that, well, for a matter of fact, I've got Griezmann for 99,000 coins right now, right? Which is which was only about a week ago, and he's plummeted to about 50. So it's something that I wanted to tell you guys. You need to sell your golds right now because they're only going to keep falling. The gold market is dead. I'm telling you, the gold market is dead. How much should I pay for Nico, right? I paid 69,000 for Nico. You go and check his price. He's down to 50 as well, so I'm going to sell this week and next week use a different different team for rivals and if I have time to play a bit of champs, right? But you need to sell, right? And how much did I pay for Arejo? 55, right? And he's probably dropped. By the way, if you're looking for a cheap OP card, this Arejo is pretty good. I'll keep him in my squad for a bit now, but he's a solid player. And honestly, I'm thinking maybe I'll sell them too. You should sell your golds because they're just going to keep falling and falling, dude. And they're falling still. Like a prime example, Jube was 250. Now he's like about 150k. Like, and you're supposed to sell your players. I always sell your players Thursday, which is what I'm doing now. I'm going to sell the whole team now and we're going to run with something else for the week. Because my team is dead, by the way. Complete this Alexi Garza as we see it's solid. This guy will stay in my team for a bit cheap beast. I'm going to invest in a solid attack or maybe a special card. Someone that's not going to go down in price a whole lot off rip. All right, so we'll sell Patry too, just to get rid of it. So this is what we're going to this is what we're going to be left with here now. And even for Impong, yeah, he can stay. So that's what's left to my team because I'm telling you the guys right now. You need to sell your golds. The market has flew down. I back reason for 100 and a 70. Like, he's at a 50k now. you got to sell your golds because it's soon going to be November. It's soon going to be Black Friday. Everything's even going to go down more. Sell your golds now, because the gold market is absolutely dead, except for the high-end meta players, kind of like Van Dyke, you know, Bappe, stuff like that, right? So anyway, I'm going to claim my rewards here now, real quick. We ended up getting rank one, yes, because I was on the two-game win streak, so yes, I flew up in Division 6. Um, pretty mid, I know, it is pretty mid very mid but i haven't had a lot of time i've only played about an hour a day so we'll open this lone player this is completely useless completely useless so i mean i guess i'm taking courtois maybe test them out there with mendy look see i'm still like i'm still here still on my win streak i'll be up to division five i'll probably hit around division four or division three is where i should sit at this year um comfortably and the rewards there are pretty good right so I'll go in and pop open what I got here for packs. Uh, it's not great for you guys. We'll see what we can do here. See what we can do. Honestly, uh, we start with the 75.5 tradable. First pack of the date. First pack of the date. Nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Who? Nah, quit playing with me, dog. What is this? Him and his Pellegrini. I mean, I don't know how much fodder sells for, right? It's another thing. I'm just going to keep up my fodder. And I think I'd sell my team and risk it all on that in that pack. Because it's a pretty solid pack. Uh, next up, we'll hit up the Mega Pack. Second pack of the day. Nothing, dude. No walk no nothing. See, my, my luck is good. They got me some. That's actually Jata, is it? That's probably a solid pull. Yeah, he's probably actually worth a little. Really? Nothing? We'll keep him for fodder, dude. He's got five star weak. See what I'm saying though? The gold market is dead right now. Absolutely dead, y'all. You really need to sell, like, everything you got there. I'm telling you. The gold market is absolutely cooked. 
sell the anchor that goes for a good bit of coins right another thing kind of to make coins is you keep your i'm gonna keep my fighter up to 83 here the rest of these guys can go and we're gonna attempt to complete that icon or that hair upgrade i think hoping the 7520 gives me some more fighter i don't really have a lot of high rate of fighter at all and so that's the thing right first pack of the day Come on. No, dude. My luck is so shit. Oh, who? Nah, without due respect. With all oh, due respect. Who is that, though? Who plays on the internet that is that? Who actually is that? Bro, who? Nah, dude. They cooked. I better look at a mega pack. I'm telling you guys. Look at this stuff. All right. Bad Rob's Wars. Next week, I'll have something better if I get time to play. You know, I have a full time job, I have a life. But, at the end of the day, I still want to have a better team. I kind of want to complete the hero upgrade, but I'm telling you, the most important thing you can do is get your coins liquid right now and kind of get something other than golds that are... Well, the golds are going to drop. You can still get beast golds. And, I mean, I might even complete someone like Thuram because he's still solid. I mean, I've had something in there, but, like, stuff like that is still good, right? So make sure you complete all this stuff, right, and keep everything in check. Sell your colds, guys. Open your packs. Sell on Thursday. Keep your coins. It's the best thing you can do. And that's all. So I appreciate y'all for watching the channel. Checking on the team. I got a new 442 tactics video. I never ran through them real quick right there. I'm going to bring that out soon. Once I get a new team, I'm going to run it through some 442. And I'll show you guys tactics because 442 is the new meta formation. All right. Thanks for watching. Hit me with a like. Hit me with a subscribe. I'd appreciate it. And peace out.